Hello, everyone. Thank you for signing on to Amtrak Vacations presentation on National Parks by Rail. I'm so excited to have you folks here with me on the webinar today. Let's dive in and talk about today's subject, the amazing U.S. National Parks. Let's go. So overall, what will we be covering today? Number one, some important things to know about when traveling by train. In fact, we will cover what life is like on board Amtrak. Popular destinations, the U.S. National Parks, for you to consider for your next rail vacation. And of course, how you can route your vacation from your local hometown through us here at Amtrak Vacations. Now, folks, there are two distinct brands that you should know about. Amtrak Vacations, of course, being the host brand of today's presentation. But we are also rail bookers here as well. Now, across our brands, we do independent vacation packages where we incorporate the hotels, sightseeing, attraction admissions, and, of course, the wonderful, relaxing, and scenic aspect about traveling by train. Now here with the name Amtrak Vacations, as it would suggest, that's travel within the United States to the major U.S. national parks, major U.S. cities, and wonderful destinations in your own backyard. With Rail Bookers, that is our international contingent of destinations throughout Europe, Canada, Australia, so on and so forth around the world. And it's important to note that whether you are planning your trip for next week, next month, next year, or even further in advance, we can help you plan, organize, and book from today to as far out as 2023. So a little recap or overview why travelers love Amtrak vacations. Number one, we can help you plan your next rail vacation trip. And when you're doing so, you'll be working with bona fide rail experts. They have great knowledge of the best routings, the most scenic of them, best ways to go, best winds to go, and how we can organize your trips for you. And again, whether you're planning for this year or next year, we can help you plan from quote unquote today to as far out as 2023. We have a maximum flexibility offer, meaning that whether you have a set schedule for travel or an open-ended one, whether you have certain types of times and types of the year that you can travel or you cannot, seasonality, whatever it may be, as we like to say, we can help you get to any destination for pretty much any date for any length of time. Simply put, if the train goes there, so do we. And we have the largest rail vacation selection worldwide. Whether you're looking to go, again, to the U.S. National Parks or travel to a big popular U.S. city, whether you're looking to travel across Europe, whether country to country, or within a single country destination. If perhaps you're looking for a more luxury experience or even to extend on a tour or a pre or post cruise extension, we can help you with all of the above. Because as we like to say here, no rail trip is too complicated for us. So what are some options with Amtrak vacations? Well, it's worth noting that all of our vacation packages are customizable, meaning that if you like one of our particular itineraries, but you want to change them, we can help you do so. Whether it's adding on a destination, extending the stay at a destination, adding extra nights, or even subtracting them. Making sure to pick you up and drop you off from your most local hometown station, meaning you can go round trip. So whether you're coming from a major hub like Chicago, New York City, Los Angeles, New Orleans, Seattle, or a little bit closer to home, we can help 
get the itinerary from closest to you. And we can always upgrade your rail tickets, particularly with the cabins on board the train. And I will go over what the sleeper cabins are like a little bit later in the presentation. And we always make sure to include wonderful options for sightseeing, admissions to attractions, and all sorts of great opportunities when you're traveling. But if there was something specific you were looking to do and aim for, we can help you do so. And just know, folks, packing for the train and preparing for a train trip is super easy. Number one, you are allowed two free carry-on bags of up to 50 pounds each per person traveling and two check bags of up to 50 pounds each per person traveling. And again, there's no cost to them. Also, luggage can be checked roughly 45 minutes to an hour ahead of your departure. That's actually roughly what we say to get to the train station, about an hour, hour and 15 minutes ahead for arrival to the station, around 45 minutes to check the luggage, and then boarding the train is easy, convenient, and then you can get on and go. And where can you travel to by train? Well, everywhere on this map you're seeing a bright red line. That's a route that Amtrak travels on. Everywhere you're seeing a little white dot, that's a train station, one of over 500 here in the contiguous U.S. that you can depart from. And everywhere you're seeing a little dark star, that's a destination where Amtrak Vacations has a package that it goes to. Again, where we bundle and organize and plan ahead of time your hotel stay, the sightseeing and attraction admissions when at the destination, and of course, the wonderful experience of taking the train to arrive there. So let's cover the national parks by rail itself. Our first highlighted package and our first highlighted destination is Glacier National Park in the big package Glacier National Park Express. Year over year, this is one of our most popular itineraries, which makes sense because Glacier Park itself is our number one selling destination every year. It's important to know, folks, if you yourself are looking to go to Glacier this year, please call us right away and book right away. Glacier's opportunity to travel has a very limited travel season year over year. It's only open from June through September. And let me tell you, everyone either has rebooked if they were supposed to travel in 2020 into 21 and now 2022 or people are already on the hop to get their space secured for this year so please folks don't hesitate this particular package starts in our major hub of chicago with a hotel night stay and sightseeing opportunity before taking the ever popular empire builder route overnight to Glacier National Park. There you would do a three night stay in the park itself with two sightseeing opportunities. A full day guided tour throughout the park known as the Big Sky Circle Tour. It's an all encompassing tour that'll take you up to uh, some of the major other uh, attractions and lodges, some of the great overlook sightseeing points throughout the park to the Continental Divide, to the Isaac Walton Inn. And again, it is a full all-encompassing tour of the park itself. We also include a really nice scenic relaxing boat cruise out onto two Medicine Valley Lake. Interesting to point out, both the boats that you'll be doing the cruise on and the vehicles under which you'll be traveling for the full day excursion have been in operation for a century, for a hundred years. And you'll notice those are the open top bright red buses that you might see on a PBS special or a National Geographic special. And so it is an incredibly unique experience to travel throughout the park. Here's a little recap map of what you will experience. As I mentioned, two nights in Chicago, taking the Empire Builder overnight on board the train that's indicated by the red arrow. 
the three nights in Glacier Park with the sightseeing I mentioned, and then finishing the Empire Builder route out to Seattle for a two-night stay in Seattle with sightseeing there as well. Next up, we have America's National Parks, a whole plethora of major national park destinations, such as Rocky Mountain National Park, Arches, Yellowstone, all wrapped into one and more. This itinerary will start in Denver for a stay in downtown Denver with a full day tour to the snow-capped Rocky Mountain National Park. What's really nice about this excursion is that it will pick you up in downtown Denver where you're staying, and it'll travel through one entrance of the park and a different exit. So you get to see the park from two different vantage points. You'll also head through and stop in some quaint little ski chalet towns, and of course, get the opportunity to breathe in the fresh air of the Colorado Rockies. From there, you'll take the California Zephyr route west, heading out to visit Arches National Park, where you can see the bright orange unique arches that make the park so special and very aptly named, as well as a trip through Canyonlands National Park as a part of a day excursion as well. From there, you'll head up by way of Salt Lake City to America's first established national park, Yellowstone. Fun fact, before Yellowstone was officially titled Yellowstone, it was very nearly called Wonderland National Park. And there are many reasons for it, including the abundant, beautiful, vibrant hot springs, of course, Old Faithful Geyser, and many, many flora and fauna that grow and thrive in the park itself. And here again, a nice little recap of what's included. Sightseeing in not one, not two, but four national parks itself. And a stay in two major U.S. cities, Denver and Salt Lake City, and a really nice train connection on the California Zephyr, America's number one most scenic rail route voted every year to go from point A to point B to point C on this itinerary. Now, an alternative Yellowstone itinerary would be one that incorporates not just Yellowstone, but the Grand Tetons National Park nearby. So if you would like to loop these two itinerary, these two destinations together on one itinerary, rather, this is the package for you. It will start off in Chicago, going overnight from Amtrak's hub on that California Zephyr route, traveling through the Colorado Rockies by day. So you, the train will literally go through the tunnels and traips through the Rockies themselves heading out into Salt Lake City, where we will connect you by way of a rental car to drive up through the Grand Tetons National Park and stay in nearby Jackson Hole, where we will set you up at a hotel stay there. From there, you'll head on up into Yellowstone National Park for a two-night stay within the park itself. One of the benefits of Amtrak vacations is that we have lodging stay just right outside the park, about a 10 minute drive as the crow flies from the park's entrance, or a stay at a lodge in Yellowstone, which makes us a little bit different and a little bit better of an opportunity for you as well. And it's your choice where and how you would like to stay. Again, a little recap. Departure from Chicago, going overnight on the California Zephyr out to Salt Lake City, connecting through the rental car that we'll provide for you up to Jackson Hole, up to Yellowstone, sightseeing tour throughout both parks. And again, this is a great way to loop both the Tetons and Yellowstone all on one journey.
Then we have the Grand National Parks of the Southwest. This is a big kitten caboodle, so to speak, of Utah's Mighty Five, plus the majestic Grand Canyon, all neatly tied together with a nice little bow on one itinerary. Again, you will get to experience all of Utah's Mighty Five on one itinerary itself. Arches, Canyonlands, Bryce, Zion, and Capitol Reef, all nicely put together for you. So this is a one great way to accomplish all in one. Look at the beauty of these parks. Nature's wonder. The U.S. National Parks are some of America's gems. Here is Capitol Reef, an incredible park that you will get to experience as a part of a several day excursion accomplishing all the parks in one. Bryce Canyon National Park. Those really unique rock structures are actually called hoodoos. So whenever you see those really weird, crazy looking crown like structures, really fun name to say, hoodoos. And look at the beauty of Zion National Park. Fun fact about Zion, because of the river running through it, the many rivers, but some of the main rivers, and because of the rainfall within the park itself that washes the sediment and rocks over and over each year, the park is always constantly changing in its uh, overall structure. So one year to visit Zion might be different sightseeing than the next year to visit Zion. And from there, from Utah's Mighty Five, we will connect you down to the majestic Grand Canyon, where you will actually get to stay at one of the lodges that we will set up for you at the South Rim of the canyon itself. So, we talked about the national parks. Now let's do a quick recap on what it is like on board the train itself. First off, there's the coach accommodations, which are two plush comfy seats that recline at a 45 degree angle. Good news folks, there is no pesky middle seat on board the train. As I mentioned, they recline at a 45 degree angle. There's a leg rest that'll kick up, a tray table that will fold down, that'll hold drinks, snacks, devices, outlets to charge said devices, plenty of room above head for luggage, just as there's plenty of leg room. And the key aspect of traveling on board the train, the big picture window, or as I like to refer to it, the window on the world. Because whether the train is heading up or down the east or west coast of the United States, climbing through the mountains, going along the Great Plains, or making its headway into a U.S. city, the key aspect of traveling on board the train is not just the relaxation, which is great in and of itself, but all of the wonderful sights that you will experience right from the window of the train that you would not experience when flying or likely not when you were driving. Now, coach seats are comfortable, don't get me wrong, but there are some important things to know about the private sleeping accommodations. Some little extra benefits, such as priority separate boarding onto the train. If you have a sleeper cabin on board the train booked, you will have the priority to board the train ahead of the general admission. Also, you will have a dedicated train car attendant to the sleeper cabin car you will be staying in. And their jobs are aplenty. First and foremost, cleaning everything up, down, and sideways over the course of the travel. Serving as a level of extra security for your cabin car. Making sure there's no riffraff going on. As you can see there on the slide, they will provide the included toiletries, bottled water, coffee, so on and so forth. They'll fold everything down to the sleeping accommodations in the evening. They'll also be quite friendly folks. I've always had really nice experiences with those train car attendants. 
they'll provide some color commentary and some great facts and info as you are traveling through the duration. And one of the benefits of traveling on board the train is the meals that are included to uh, included with the cost of your sleeper accommodation, which can be provided to the private sleeper or can be enjoyed in the traditional Amtrak dining car. Good news, folks, but by the way, the meals are cooked to order, fresh cooked to order, with a full menu to choose from. And if you have any dietary restrictions, allergies, so on and so forth, just let the folks know. They will accommodate it for you. Now, what do these cabins look like? Well, here, folks, is the sleeper roomette. During the day, it's two plush, comfy seats, a nice big picture window, again, the window on the world for you to enjoy all the sights out of. At night, everything folds down to bunk-style sleeping accommodations. Now, the restroom and showers are down the hall. They are shared, but it should be noted that only those in that sleeper train car have access to those showers and bathrooms. You're not sharing with the entirety of the rest of the train. And feel free, folks, whether it's day or night, to have the sleeper car attendant fold down the bedding. You can see the young lady there relaxing, cracking a thick book, possibly on her way to take a nap. And that's one of the nice aspects about traveling on the train. You're on your own time. You're on holiday. You're on vacation. Might as well take that extra time to put the cell phone away. Put away the news of the day or the hustle and bustle of daily life and just sit back, relax, or lay back and relax and enjoy the journey. Here, folks, is the sleeper roomette diagram. You can see the bunk style sleeping right there. Fits up to two adults. You'll have private restroom access in the car, private shower access in the car. Now, if you wanted the private shower and restroom access in your room, in your cabin. The next step up is the sleeper bedroom, which has a long couch, big captain's chair, we refer to that here. It is a bigger space to begin with. It still folds down to bunk style sleeping. You can see that in the diagram there. However, it does have the private bathroom and shower within the cabin itself. You can actually see the door to the private shower and bathroom right there to the left. You can see what the bunk style looks like in the evening. And but even though it is bunk style, folks, it is easy to get from the lower bunk or the floor to the top bunk. It's simple, easy. There should be no cause for concern. Just as I did before, here is the blown up version of the bedroom as I did with the roomette. Again, fits up to two adults has the in-room restroom, has the in-room shower, makes it easy and comfortable for you. Now, folks, if you did want a bedroom, call us ASAP. They always sell first, and there's less of them to begin with. And if we have anyone that is looking to travel that might have some ADA questions or concerns, we do have ADA accessible bedrooms on the lower level of the train cars, they run the width of the train car so they can easily accommodate those traveling with a walker wheelchair. It should be noted they are still bunk style sleeping, just to note. There is a sink and toilet within the cabin itself. And as always, the meals can be provided right to the cabin, just with any other cabin. Also, folks, there should be notes on discounts because it's always nice to travel but it's always nice to save a little bit when you are traveling. Children age 2 to 12 receive a 50% discount off the base rail ticket. Seniors 65 and over receive a 10% discount off the base rail ticket. And then any active military personnel, spouses and dependents will receive a 10% discount off the base rail ticket. Also worth noted, veterans. There is a veterans discount of 10% for veterans now. Now, I'm sure I always get that question. 
Well, what if I'm a senior and a veteran at the same time? Unfortunately, it's one or the other. So, folks, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call. You have the phone number there, 1-800-268-7252. Always feel free to do a little research on us. Sign on to AmtrakVacations.com. Also, you can check and contact your local travel advisor if you prefer to work through them. And any and all questions, we're happy to answer for you. I want to thank you folks for signing on to the presentation today. I hope you all have a wonderful day and hope to see you soon.